Hello, I'm Chloe Theobald from Charge Magazine and I'm here today with Dave Dealey here at the Induct TV booth at Act Expo here in Las Vegas. So Dave, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, Chloe, you're welcome. It's great to be here. It's great to see you. Can you tell us more about Induct TV as a company and why being Act Expo is so important to you? Absolutely. Induct TV has been around since about 2010. We were founded by a NASA scientist that had to figure out how to put capsules in space and, and lower the weight. So we, we looked at, invented inductive charging. Same way you'd use for your cell phone on a cell phone charger, we do it for commercial vehicles and buses around the world. So in 2017, we had our first major installation in a bus market in Wenatchee, Washington, where we're now charging over 40 buses uh, in, that, in that area. And we have about eight other installations in the state of Washington and then six others around the country, all charging buses. So that's given us a great start to go to our next phase, which is commercial freight. Fantastic. So you've been in your role just over a year, I believe. What initially attracted you to joining Induct TV? And how have your views on EVs changed over the course of this last year? Well, a couple of things, Chloe, and that's a great question. Uh, one is it gave me an opportunity to get back into an industry that I love, which was railroad transportation and logistics. And secondly, this is a technology that it's easy to fall in love with. It, uh, it helps the world decarbonize. It helps industries that are now uh, polluting with, with a lot of hydrocarbons in the atmosphere, either with diesel or gasoline, internal combustion engines. And we are one vehicle at a time helping the world decarbonize basically the transportation industry. And talking about decarbonizing, you meet face to face with many, many customers. What are you finding out of their key challenges and concerns around decarbonization? Well, it's very rewarding meeting with customers. Um, one is to know that their corporation and entities are interested in decarbonizing the planet uh, from an environmental perspective because it's just the right thing to do. Secondly, they're looking for a product, a solution that works, which we bring. Thirdly, we have integrated with a lot of the major uh, truck and bus manufacturers that are household names to everyone. Uh, and then four, uh, it's really coming to market with a true solution and with executives that can sell into the market and represent the market and working with the OEMs in, in cutting edge technology and really making it work in a high volume situation. And thinking about that, where in the medium to heavy duty commercial space do you see the greatest opportunities in the next few years? Well, we springboarded significantly off of a, of a bus market, which buses are heavy. They haul a lot of weight in terms of people. They, uh, they operate over challenging terrain and challenging weather. And so all those successes we've had in that market have allowed us to get into commercial freight which most people would say is first, middle, and last mile. Last mile are the big box stores that deliver to your house with the brand names of the delivery companies that we all know. And then those same companies that operate huge warehouses that take uh, commodities from ports or intermodal facilities or manufacturing sites into distribution centers and then on into either retail stores or into people's homes. So it's being able to address all those different markets, uh, particularly from a freight perspective, a lot of it comes in from the ports through LA, Long Beach, Oakland, Seattle, uh, New Jersey, all the way down the eastern seaboard. And, and we are able to uh, integrate into all those different markets, into again the brand names that, that we all know in terms of the truck manufacturers uh, that provide for the, uh, the enabling of electric, battery electric delivery in those markets. So let's focus on the, the technology. High power charging technology is quite unknown to, to many people. How have you and the team gone about addressing that? One is, is getting our word out in events like this. Um, we've hired a high power team that came from the industries we're selling to. And then third is making it clear that to a battery, we look just like a high powered plug-in charger. So there's a lot of misconception in the industry that because we look uh, like it's too good to be true that we're charging through thin air, that there's got to be a, a big efficiency loss. That is not true. The battery doesn't know the difference between us and any type of a plug-in charger that, that you would use. So that's item one. Secondly is the attributes of our technology allow us to take up much less space in a vehicle parking lot. We don't have chargers that are next to uh, 
the vehicle that a driver could run into, and we don't have heavy cables that a driver has to get out of a vehicle, particularly in a, uh, a rainy or a snowy day, and lift up a heavy cable to plug in the vehicle. Looking at the competitive landscape, it's quite unique for, for you guys. Um, tell us what, your, what that competitive landscape looks like and, and what the distinctive competitive advantage is that Induct EV has. Well, sure. And going back to what we talked about in terms of a NASA scientist being the roots of our technology, is that a lot of our technology is patent protected. So in the high power wireless sector, globally, there's really, we only have one other competitor, at least in terms of high power uh, uh, inductive charging. But we do compete with other forms of charging. Plug-in charging is less expensive, and there are other solutions, pantographs, robotic arms, other connective uh, touchless solutions that we have to constantly be aware of to make sure that we are selling into a market that we are, tr we are a true benefit, uh, that we don't take up space in a parking lot, that an employee or a truck driver can't get hurt lifting a cable, and our customers love the product. Right. So. First year done, what are you excited about for the next year to come at Induct EV? Well, we've laid so much groundwork with a new organization, a new manufacturing partner, Buy America, Made America. Uh, we have a long list of now satisfied, happy customers. Uh, we have a lot of, of uh, organic growth within our existing customer base. And we have a great reputation to spring forward into the freight markets, support terminal markets and other areas in first, middle, and last mile with some names that are household names in transportation, logistics, and distribution. We also have a lot of government support in terms of grant money by a variety of different grant programs from the different federal agencies and California mandates that are working in our favor of, of mandating zero emissions in a big part of our business sector by 2030 and then corporations that we partnered with that have similar zero emission uh, goals to be 70% zero, uh, zero emissions by 2030 and 100% by 2040. So we have a lot of tailwinds, quality of our product, the quality of our organization, and the quality of the customers that we have. That's fantastic, very excited for your year ahead. Thank you so much, Dave, and to the team at Induct TV today for joining us. Thank you, Chloe. Thanks. Thank you very much.